Hi, welcome to my i3 system. I just made a tutorial how to install an any cursor theme on your system. And um, I thought, why not figure out if this cursor system is actually already on the AUR. Eh? AUR is for the Arch User Repository. That's me, that's you, that's anybody who wants to share a package build, a recipe to build something. So we've uh, added oxy, whoa, oxy, oxy, oxy. What was it again? Let's have a look. I've put on my, my uh, keyboard shortcut so you can follow along what I'm typing. But we've uh, installed this one, oxy neon. So the question is, does this, does anybody create, does, do they have, uh, oh my, did they create a package on AUR yet? about oxy neon doesn't seem to be that way it can be mistaken because it's actually oxygen um, let's see a source is a source of files fine index theme oxygen I was typing it correctly without an e let's see what a lot of more things and now we go look because i don't want to make a package build that already existed that's of course one of the rules imagine that everybody is making a recipe for just one cursor it would be a pollution of uh, AOR. that's not the intention of course not so we need the word cursor with it let's see if it exists i have installed e oxygen cursors extra and x cursor oxygen Okay, but that's it. So I don't think it's in here. So Control Alt M. Let me show you what I have already installed. So if we go to mouse and touchpad, these themes are all coming from Oxygen. But the one that is supplied here that was suggested by a user on Discord, which I kind of like because it's uh, obvious that it matches our arc theme, the blue theme. And I say, okay, does it exist already? And if it does not exist, anybody, you and me, can make a AOR package. But, but to do that, we need to have some information how to build the package, actually. How, how what are the rules? Uh, what should I observe and all that? So I guess we could build a package for all Arch Linux systems. So Manjaro will benefit from it. Antegos will benefit from it. Anything based on Arch, uh, what's the other one I was thinking of? Doesn't matter. So any distro that's based, KOS, that's the one that was in my mind. Um, it uh, will be able to say, okay, Packer or Trizen or Yahoo and get this cursor. So we are contributing to the, the wealth of AOR if we make another package. Okay, big intro. Let's kill some stuff. Oh yeah, there's an option to close all the tabs. Yes, baby, close everything up. So, we want to do things. We want to get um, ArchWiki, package build. That was this one I wanted. And here we start reading. So this article discusses variable definable by the maintainer, that's me, that's you, in a package build. For information on the package build function and creating packages in general, you just go and read everything, all right? Package version and all that, package description. And down here probably as well, there are some links, example, package build, okay. Something else, Arch user repository, creating packages. Sounds like a good one to start as well. So this is the command to make. Uh, if you have a package build, you go into the folder where package build file is. You type make package and it builds it. Simple, right? But we need to build one. So creating a package build. When package is run, etc. You read, 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 read. Okay? Fine. Then. What I'm going to do is AOR cursor. There are, of course, people who already created a cursor theme. So 
if you go for cursor maybe popularity captain cursors x cursor human and so on doesn't really matter what's the name what i want to do is view the package build so it has a name it has a version it has a release it has a description it's for any arch basically it's only 64 bits but okay there's an url somewhere and a license what do you need to package to make depends it to make it and where is it coming from is coming from ubuntu right so i told i tell you all uh, all the time that when you are on arco linux and basically on arch and on tergos oops uh, anything really based on arch no that's not the one i want but i can go like this then we have always always part of three elements arco linux aor and our arco and this is the the division between them all that's red is arch for arco linux and all that's blue is aor so the others the light blue uh, is um aor and arco linux is the dark blue that's it and all the rest is arch linux and what this does here is count the packages so you can test it yourself you get numbers you put it in a nice graph and you have the same the thing is it's gonna download something from where somewhere is gonna check if the, the download is correct and then it's going to package anything in this case it's going to be making a setup by but do i need that well, super shift return do i need that so go to downloads oxygen neo all i have is a folder there's nothing to be built so this is is a bad package build for me i don't need this what i want to do is a copy paste you hear me coming already of course i want to do a copy paste and this is more like it so the package itself you go inside a folder with package name that's coming from here that's the package name is a variable and a version and a version install me that in the package directory user share icons and copy everything from a specific folder it seems into package dir user share icons captain cursors this one i can use so i find myself a recipe for to cook right uh, a cooking recipe i say okay this this kind this could could work i need to have a source somewhere that's possible too where is my source i have lost my source um i think it was maybe in here no it's not in these links uh gnome look dork dot org something that's that's the one huh? don't look or icons something like this one then we go to the cursors this one and a lot of stuff to do neon blue glue glow looks also quite beautiful so lots of things to do it had something to do with neon and we'll find the link later but the thing is this will be I, I just take one of them this will be a file this one and that one this will be our download file this is our tar gz you see it at the bottom of the uh, browser so we have a source there is a source so that's this one so okay let's give it a try with this captain cursors dot git right now i'm thinking this is a dot git all right let's first get this so download snapshot this is captain cursor's package details i'm thinking about naming there are rules about naming as well if it's coming from a git you have to put git behind it this is not coming from git so i guess i have free to do what i want like this one for instance it's coming from googlesource.com targz and no git okay so basically i've got something that's downloaded here this is gonna be a little bit technical guys but 
it's just for those guys that say, oh, you know, I want to learn how to package build a cursor that's not already in the AUR. So extract here, we have captain cursors. We can't delete this one, can delete that one. And it's not captain cursors anymore. It's going to be oxy nail. But that folder exists already. So I have to rename this one or move up. That's a possibility as well. So I'm going to move this one to my desktop. That's the package build. Okay. Oxy nail. Here is the recipe we're going to make. Then, so Captain Cursors is Oxy nil. I really need to figure out if this is the official name. So I'm gonna check in Discord. I'm gonna go to my second screen here, which is not recorded. I'm gonna open the link, that's the fastest way. To find it again and maybe pause the video a little bit okay I found my oxygen nail so this is the one uh, where we're gonna download it's going to be here this is going to be the link I need to find out if we have a direct link as well later if we can download it okay try again uh, that's the reason was obvious. I had to take the other one. This one. But I ask myself, is this the proper link? That's something else. Because it was downloaded already. So I have to figure out the source. That's an issue. Fine. Super F. So Oxy Nail. It has a package release. I don't know. Let's have a look. Does it have a package release? It has a package release or not. Files. Poof. Not really, I suppose. Oh, 0 0.2. Okay. It's a strange file. Zero point two is the only thing that comes close to it. Question is, is the maintainer, is the, the one that uploaded it, is this his name, will he change it ever? Because once you put in a name and he changes the 109 to 108, AOR package build will, build will break, right? So anything that changes except for the 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 1.1, etc. That's clear, but if it changes something in here, that's something we don't expect. All right. 0 0.2. Okay. Uh, super F, of course. So, we need to be, we could say like this, 0, and package version 2, to make uh, the anecdote that it's the same as the other one. I don't know if we set any text, but we want to take it to be as close as possible. Product. And here is some text. Control C. So we can put in this text here as well. Control V. Arch any. There is no GitHub really. There is uh, not no URL, I mean. But there is only a link. I better find out my download link. Save link, copy link location. Okay. What is my link? Let's have a look. Oh no, that's not gonna work. might but i don't think it will work let's copy paste it in here delete enter it is downloaded it is gonna work it is the ugliest url i've ever seen <laughs> i 
how do we find something nicer than this thing? That is ugly. So ugly. Sometimes we can get a nicer link. I don't suppose it can be here. This is really ugly, but okay. The license, I wouldn't know what license he is asking us to take. Change log. Okay. License, I wouldn't know. No license I can see. So GPL, I don't know what L stands for, so GPL3. Source package name is Oxyneon. Oxyneon. That's here. That's Oxyneon. That's okay. Then a dash. But it has also numbers in front of it. These numbers. So source is actually one three oops okay enter one three seven one oh nine dash one three seven one oh nine dash and the package name is oxy neon okay then we're all in the middle more or less and then a dash fine and then we get package version which is zero with package release. So we type package release, package rel, and a dot. So I have now a zero coming from package version, a dot, and a two coming from package release, tar gz. So that's good. And now I have to copy paste this awesome, ugly link again till here. Okay, till here, control V. Great. So our number starts at 137. Oxyneon is our package version. Whoa, what did I did I do? Control Z. Huh? I did something wrong. No, it's okay. Then we change this. Okay, got it. It's a, a mumbo jumbo of code. Poof. So, this is my number. Control C. That thing is actually that thing. I wonder if I can cut off till here. Like so. Forget all about the rest. Let's try that out. Is this enough? Does he know what to do? So basically I'm thinking the following. Can I get this link, put it in here, control A, control V, okay, and then tell to the system, you know what? You can stop here. Get rid of all that. Will that work? No, it will not work. So, oh, question is, oh, 
lost my copy copy link location and then back in here control p so i'm trying to figure out if there's a way to make this download smaller but i guess not because it's working with api stuff in here forget about it no control v more fine all right so super f super f again so we're gonna keep all this stuff and this number is my name control c control z i need everything back and i'm reading 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 and here it starts again this thing is again my name. Save. Okay, then we have MD5 sums and checksums, things like that. So, oh. huh. what's he doing? What's he doing? What are you doing? I was, I, was, I was pressing some wrong button, clearly. Okay, downloads. So a lot of downloads. Don't want this one, don't want that one, don't want that one. And that's okay as well. So this one, let's MD5 summit. The one tree, etc. What is happening? It is some. And I am not in the directory, Eric. You are not in the directory. Well, let's just delete this, right mouse click, open terminal, and then you're in the directory and the five sum. One three seven enter. So that's my yeah, that's the one I need, eh? MD5 sums. So, Ctrl Shift C. That's the one I need. Ctrl V. And then the other one, SCH 256. Sum. Sum of what? Of this. Excuse me. And till here, Ctrl Shift C. And that is this long line. So we'll be safe. And then it's going to package name, version, blah, blah, blah. You share icons. And this is wrong. This is called Oxy Nil. Mm -hmm. Time to test it out. I wonder. I wonder. So, um, moving this guy to my second screen. So I have some place here, some room. And this one now goes to my screen number eight. And now we can have a LS. We are now in the wrong place. And you should go to the desktop. Here we have our Oxy, CD Oxy. And there is a package build. So make my package let's see so now we have to analyze <clears throat> so downloading is no problem that it's fine that oh that's super fine validating is passed is passed so these things here we pass those guys that's fine too and then he wants to start the package line 15 line 15 he wants to do this oh yeah <laughs> there's a typo Hopla. safe no f needed we do it again. And then it says CD Oxynium 0. Okay, meaning that's coming from there and package version is not needed. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So, desktop Oxynium. Let's move this one to desktop 2. 
now you can see it so what happens if you make a package then it's going to go over everything it's going to download it and then you get the source file so this is going to be in the source file and when it gets it from rpm ubuntu G github tar gz zips whatever it's going to be extracted you know that's the way we get it we saw it in the other video and then he's going to repackage it so that this is the package folder but he wants to go in a folder oxyneon zero or dash zero and obviously that doesn't exist so what i have to do is say forget about this package version just go inside package name all right Let's see what happens now he says cannot start this yeah of course because this was a um, copy paste from uh, another um, icon theme so you went you go into the package and you want to install everything there that's fine and then he wants to copy everything to the package their user share icons oxygen this this thing is not existing let's have a look what does exist so package oxyneon and then user share icons here they that's the end result there it must get and it's still in this stage as is here where there is no dist all right what do we have we have oxyneon mm -hmm. okay what if i say to the system look copy paste everything that's in here to there well, let's see what happens the question is where is yet at that point in time so copy target home error package oxyneon does not is not a directory um pop, pop, pop. where am i at this point in time i'm going inside the package name okay so that means I'm in here okay then I want to copy paste everything to and he says target home eric desktop oxyneon package oxyneon okay doesn't exist he says what if i say that i should make an oxyneon here already save make package okay that looks good so i told him to make a package install to the directory i don't know what it was again you have to check it out again dm and then package directory user share icons oxyneon and since it's ex uh, the directory exists i can then tell everything that you find in this package see the package name so oxyneon everything you find there recursively you're going to put everything over to package directory okay let's have a look what happens we have now um let's start again uh, with the package build we have a download he extracts it in the source here's the source and then you're going to package it again for Arch Linux to Oxyneon uh, user share icons Oxyneon and you have a team so that's great this is what we need to do this is our finite or our last uh, package build this is will work and that's how you analyze line per line to figure out how you you gonna copy paste this we're gonna make this so maintainer I'll put it online. Like so, save. Now to test it, to test it, 
you can do that too, of course. So let's assume, I let's not assume that it's working. So this is my oxynelms that I copy pasted in the other video. I'm gonna quickly check what's in here. So that's the default cursor that's set here. Fine. Um, poof, poof, that's gone, fine. Everything can be deleted. Delete here. Well, actually, the, the other one could, could be staying there. The default, I think it was. Then it's already set properly. This just says, hey, uh, my index theme is Oxynail. So that's good. It's written by Alex Appearance, by the way. Then um, everything is clear because this needs to be clear. The dot icons needs to be clear. It's going to be come in here. So all this Oxy stuff that I installed is going to be a little pain in the ass. So control alt T, pseudo pacman minus R. Whew. I hope it's called oxygen. Yep, there you go. And let's get rid of all these oxygen guys. Is that it? There are other oxygens or not? No, all the O's are gone. Okay, fine. So now that that's uh, cleaned out, I installed those with Ryzen and we're going to install our package build to the test is out. I'm going to double click on this thing and say commit or if you want to see it in the terminal, sudo pacman dash u and then the name. But I'm all for clicking. So there we go. It's in here. It's installed. Where is it installed? It's going to be in icons. It's going to be alphabetically. Oh, 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 oh. Oxygen. Well, there are still other oxygens. So we have an oxygen. Oxygen. I even created an icon theme cache. That's Pacman for you. And we have your index theme. So your index theme is going to work. I mean, your theme is going to work. And this is the content of the X of the theme. This is my text, remember? <laughs> this is the thing I copy pasted and that's it. We have now, uh, well, let's have a look, control shift D, Alex appearance. We have here the mouse cursor and we have our different kinds of cursors that we can delete or not. But this is the one we actually installed via our package. And now it's up to us uh, to install this package build to the AOR, which is again a little bit more complicated and definitely for a separate uh, tutorial for later. So this is how you make a package build. Start with a recipe from somebody else, say, oh, this is more 80, 90%, okay. Read, of course, everything, every rule that's there on there on the Arch Wiki, but um, you'll probably be more or less in, in uh, following the rules if you take a recipe from somebody else but that, that's not no guarantee of course so that's um, another package build tutorial it's a little bit well um, advanced let's say but it's a fun way to contribute your knowledge to to for make arch linux and any arch distribution better because we all use the same aur all right signing off